The world is warming, and that's a fact. According to a new release from the UK Met Office, global temperatures so far this year are already one degree Celsius above those in the late 1800s. That's halfway towards the key threshold of two degrees Celsius, where global warming becomes catastrophic. Political leaders will work towards an agreement to slow the increase later this month, but it'll be an uphill battle politically and scientifically. The fundamentals of climate change have been understood by scientists for decades. We know that we need precise levels of CO2 and methane, the greenhouse gases, in our atmosphere to keep our Earth at just the right temperature. For over a century, we have produced excess amounts of these gases, which has caused the temperatures to rise. Radiation coming from the sun is absorbed by Earth's surface and atmosphere. In turn, the Earth heats up and radiates some of it back out to the atmosphere, where it's actually reabsorbed by those greenhouse gases. In a nutshell, greenhouse gases act as a blanket. There's a lot of new research going into other factors that may end up causing accelerated warming. Things like Arctic methane release, melting permafrost, and the infamous ice albedo loop. When ice melts, land or open water takes its place. Surfaces that are much less reflective than ice, so they end up absorbing more solar radiation, causing more warming, and the cycle continues. And here's where climate change intersects with meteorology. Warm air has the capacity to hold more moisture, which is the most important factor in extreme weather events. While one big storm, drought, or heat wave can't be directly linked to climate change, it's the overall trend of increasing intensity and frequency of those events that can. Climate change has already led to crop failures, natural disasters, higher food prices, creating poverty and pushing people at risk into destitution and war. A new report from the World Bank says that as many as 100 million people could slide into extreme poverty because of rising temperatures. So, we have set the chain reaction of global accelerated warming in motion, but is it too late to stop it? Well, there's another sobering scientific reality that will weaken the effectiveness of even the most ambitious of climate deals. CO2 in the atmosphere right now will remain there for centuries. Even if we reduce the amount we are adding to the atmosphere, it will take centuries for it to be absorbed by the plants and the, and the oceans. At this point, we can't stop global warming, only slow it down. This is all the more reason to make drastic changes now, but it means that the concept of adapting to climate change is that much more important. In fact, Manhattan just announced a billion dollar transformation of its coastlines to battle rising tides. Rich countries should be able to adapt more easily than poor, and that will be a big and extremely important part of the Paris talks.